Hey, it's Don. Today we're going to talk about some of the changes that eBay has been doing with staff for one and some of the other issues that are going on with some of the third-party connections and things that eBay was promoting. Now, another issue that I've talked about before is eBay's affiliates and affiliate links programs that they have. They've done two changes now in just a matter of a month or so. One of them actually limits the amount of money you can get. Even if you earn over a certain amount, they won't pay you that amount. So there's a lot of things going on that just don't seem to be the benefit of eBay. Again, I don't run eBay, so eBay does what they want. This is obviously my opinion on the issue. Now, with affiliate links eBay had an excellent chance to come in there and get some of Amazon's business right now Amazon drastically cut the affiliate links the amount of money you get if someone clicks on one of your links and then goes to Amazon and buy something now I use the program pretty much anybody who's looked down below probably see some of my affiliate links down below you get pennies before they did the change, and now it's even less. So there's not a big incentive to mess with that, in all honesty, for Amazon. Amazon doesn't need it anymore. Amazon's doing fine. They're doing better than they've ever done in their life with everything that's gone on. So eBay had an opportunity to bring all of those affiliate folks that have been pushing all these Amazon items over to eBay, and it could have steered a ton of business. eBay didn't have a lot to lose by doing that because, again, these people are going there. They may have never went to eBay for that item had they not clicked on a link and trusted the person that's uh, advertising that link. So, I mean, there's more to it than just thinking they're going to save a few bucks by not paying out money through affiliate links and things like that. It's, it's short-sighted. It doesn't uh, take into account the fact that Amazon is almost cutting it off in many cases, making everybody want to find a better place to do it. So... You know, a lot of people who review stuff or have a blog post and use the affiliate links, it, it, to them it's not important to where, you know, they advertise an item. They usually use the one that gets them the most money. It just depends. So if Amazon's not going to be the one, they're going to direct it to somebody else who does pay them a better commission on the product. Now, I'm not saying there's anything wrong with that. There's no problem with doing a blog on an item and then advertising the item and having a link for it. That's part of life and many people find that helpful. In some cases when I'm looking for like a lighting piece or something technical for what I do or make a video, I do go to blogs and read them. It's good to know other people's opinions on things, especially if you're buying like a camera or something. So buying a camera, I want to know all these different things that uh, Basically, a blog post is going to be the only source I can get to get the down uh, inside dirt on how that camera works. So it's a good thing to have. eBay not taking advantage of that is just crazy. And then the cutoff, what they do have by lowering the amounts of money you can get through that, again, is just following suit with Amazon. Again, their call, obviously, that's the route they're going with this. Whatever the case may be, it would have been an opportunity that they're not taking. So here's a news article that I think everybody should pay attention to and look over as well. This is from a site called e-commerce bytes. Uh, several people sent me this after I posted a video. This says head of eBay developers program departs the company. Basically, this person is leaving. This person is the one who handled API and pretty much all the other stuff. This person spearheaded that program. Now, I'm not going to call it any names. You can read the article yourself, and I would recommend it as well. Again, e-commerce bytes, head of eBay developers program departs company. You just type that title in if you can't get the uh, address there, and it'll take you to that uh, article, I am sure. Basically, it's talking about the departure and what this person did. And this person did handle the initiative in working with third-party apps immensely. And eBay has changed their API, which is part of the reason I'm having issues trying to use the eBay channel on Shopify because it locks you in with your listings that way and you can't use Best Offer and it doesn't work for managed payment. Even though eBay offered this channel again, this is something that's changed. You used to be able to do some of those features prior to all of these changes in managed payments coming in. So this may be another one of those things that eBay is just not going to worry about they don't have an answer I don't really know what the issue is with this again but the point of it is that you can't use eBay's own basically approved channel 
uh, as a third party to do anything because the API is not feature complete. Meaning that the API, the API is a basically like a program that'll sync up Shopify or some other place with eBay. It'll be the the conversion software that changes from one platform to eBay and then integrates it all together in there. That's basically what the API is. And with this API, the one for the eBay channel on here, it's missing all kinds of features. So you can't do many different things, such as the best offer is one of the big ones. And again, as I said, manage payments. So it's fairly useless to those folks who use best offer religiously, which I do. Uh, so it pretty much defeats the purpose. Now that feature was available at one point on that because I've seen it in person and there's videos online here on YouTube showing it work like that. Now I can't find any postings saying that feature was removed. I do find postings from third parties who um, were trying to handle customers to explain why they couldn't add that feature back in again because it's through eBay's API. So there isn't a whole bunch that can be done. So I've had to work around it, but this leads me to wonder um, on what's going on. Again, the person who created that where it was working is no longer there. They're changing around things. They're cutting down affiliate funding and affiliate link uh, payments. So. If they're not going to support third parties and allow people to, you know, list their same items from eBay onto another platform the same way they did before, they're also losing the business from other sites who would like to list on eBay. You know, that's a, a big consideration. It works both ways. There may be more people on other platforms that hadn't thought about listing on eBay that would do it if it's just a matter of adding in an, an API through, say, Shopify or another third party app, Sellbrite or something like that. So think of it that way when when you're looking at these types of things what route are they thinking are they cutting off service again this has been going on for a couple months from what i can see i've read you know quite a bit of posts lots of comments lots of reviews on the issues and things like that for quite some time a couple hours i spent trying to make heads or tails on, on what was going on i can't find a post anywhere that says hey this is what's happening also in this article, at the bottom, if you go down to the bottom of this same article here, they talk about two members of the board that have been on the board for a long time are now stepping down as well. Now, again, this is something that a lot of businesses do. They'll change the whole structure. Under new management, you'll see those signs even in small businesses when they do that. So nothing wrong with that. It just depends on who they bring in to replace everybody. Again, we know the guy running it now is a Walmart guy. Just like with the affiliate link, I said that would be a warning shot. That's that's basically what they're doing. They're showing which direction, in my mind, their business is heading. So just pay attention to what's going on. These are all key important factors to be aware of. It could lead to changes in the company depending on who comes in there that would affect us as well. So now one last issue I thought I would bring up is managed payments again. Um, there's been a lot of talk about having someone from eBay's managed payments coming on and explaining a lot of what's going on and setting us at ease with how they're dealing with the process and how it's going to affect us with maybe category blocks and things like that. Until eBay figures out things, once I'm in managed payments, I can't sell a whole bunch of items. So what route are they going? Just like with the third-party apps, eBay's own channel, as I said, eBay's own API to link eBay to Shopify doesn't work in sync with managed payments. You know, it's cutting off all kinds of business that eBay would want. So I worry about that. We're just crossing over into this. And, you know, it, it's a concern for me. So managed payments in general, someone should at least address everyone's concerns, but no one to this day that I can see from managed payments has ever answered any questions directly on managed payments in general. They can't even answer basics like on micropayments and things like that, which PayPal does right now. If you don't know what a micropayment is, that's when you say sell something for less than 10 bucks. You pay a lesser of a fee than you normally would. Instead of say 2.9% plus 30 cents, it may only be say a 1% with a 5 cent per transaction fee or something like that. I don't really remember what it is per se, but the point of it is that eBay hasn't addressed any of these issues whatsoever. Again, their company, their prerogative, in my opinion, that looks bad. It, it doesn't show um, respect or any interest in letting the people who have a life at stake with what's going on 
any consideration into any of this. Again, it's their company. They're going to do what they want based on how much money they think they can make. But you got to realize that if you scare off all your customers and all your your sellers, you're not going to have much money coming back in to, to do anything. That comes into them selling off classifieds as well, which Forbes is talking about. They may get 8 to $10 billion from that sale. My guess is half of that's going to go to more stock buyback, you know, again, to inflate and raise the share value. Again, that's what most companies seem to do this day. There was a time when that, I don't think, was legal to be able to do in the first place, at least within a certain length of time of bringing that money in. But as long as it's legal, companies will do whatever they can to increase their own personal pocketbooks. Most CEOs and, and corporate high-ups who run a company have a structure where their salary is fairly small compared to the rest of their compensations, which are mostly based on stocks and such forth, investment in the company itself. So they get more money personally if the company sells off and reinvests it back into the stock. Well, that's about it for today. Hopefully that gave you some ideas and some thoughts. If you enjoyed this video, please hit that like button down below. You can also hit the bell icon to be notified if I post new content or go live. Subscribe and tell all your friends. I'm the Micro Machine Man, and this is the Seriously Small Micro Machine Service City, the perfect place to take your micros for serious servicing. This place has it all. Movable garage doors, liftable lift, simply amazing service base, two-level parking, and a totally terrific turning turntable in the super showroom. The service here is simply stupendous. <laughs> micro Machine Service City from Galoo. The Micro Machine Man here, and I'm coming clean about the all-new Micro Machine Car Wash City. It's the best way to clean your micro machine. Drive into the vacuum area, then move your micros through the real rotating rollers. Now this car's really clean, team. Take your perfectly polished micros up the little elevator to the tippy top, where you find a rotating stack shop. Micro Machines Car Wash City, Service City sets, and vehicles sold separately. Some assembly required from Galoo. Remember, if it doesn't say Micro Machine, not the real thing.